Why the Sub Club? I've been at Sub Club probably since about 1993. I'm gonna say about 92 or 93. And it's probably one of my all time favorite clubs. Um, the first time I, I came to play, I had no idea what to expect. And it felt like I was playing at, at home. I mean, my thing was basement, red light, and a feeling. And this is exactly <laughs> what this is. So many wonderful nights I had here. And my, my project wouldn't be complete without this place. It really, really wouldn't. And it's been 33 years now for the place. So I'm just happy it's still going. It's absolutely one of my favorites. First thing I do is um, I do a white noise sweep of the room. This is a white noise of uh, Sub Club. And here is the filter sweep of Sub Club. This is what I emulate the system back with back at the house up by my other my studio I have a couple but this is the one that's in my main studio and I can mimic all of the, the stuff with the, the uh, sweeps and filters and stuff that I was just talking about what I did first was uh, go through all the kicks in the room that sounded really good in here same thing with the hi-hats this sound cuts through the room for some reason I found these samples on um, something I was using from before. So, did all of that, uh, programmed the drums in, so they sound a bit like this. When I listen to sounds and I play sounds in clubs, I don't just listen for the speakers and that, I listen for the acoustics in the room. So what happens is, um, everything has a resonance. And I wasn't just playing with, with what just the sound was. I was playing with parts of the room that vibrate. So like, if I hit this note, it vibrates that part of the ceiling. And, and <laughs> Sub Club is very infamous for everyone hitting the ceiling. Like when things go crazy. So I thought, well, I'm going to hit the ceiling in my own way around the room. So this note hits back here. That's over there. And that's way over there in that corner. So each note. That's vibrating the ceiling over there. That's vibrating the ceiling over there. And this note is vibrating the ceiling right above us. So if every time I go, it moves around the room. So it's like I'm hitting it three times every time I do that. Now I'm gonna go and see what the harmonics for all of this stuff sounds like walking into the club. So. This is the part I love right here on the staircase. So anyways, it's it's gonna be louder, so I'm gonna say it's gonna it's probably gonna start peaking here. And and that's what I wanted to get out of it, full and wide. There's one other element that happens, and I've been been paying attention to it. Uh, depends on what time of night it is. You can actually hear the um, the train through the building. Five or ten minutes, you'll hear this rumble, and I wanted to replicate some of it somewhere in the middle of the song. I'm probably going to put something that just kind of rumbles and, and adds up like it's a train, and have it go left and right in the room. Yeah, you can outside. Red, one, oh, number ten. Right, it sounds like she's singing it. Hell yeah! <laughs> I love it. And it's really going to be funny because the people that know, they, they know that's next yeah. door. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of the story of my, my thing down here for, for sub club. Um, but for each each club has its own element, and this one is you know it's just kind of the my roots. I grew up here in sub club. You know, I've learned a lot in sub club, and, and you know Dominic and Harry, you know their family, and you know Paul, Mike, you know Sean. It's, it's you know they they let me kind of get away with murder here. You know, and it's always fun. It's nothing off limits, and that's what I really love about um, doing here. Now I get to take this one and move it down here. 
and this is uh, such a fun thing for me to do because now I can take it off my to-do list. Sub Club! Oh, nice. <laughs>